You're going to be the engineer of a 100-car freight train that weighs more than 1,700 tons. Now, you could learn by riding along with an experienced engineer until he felt you were ready to take the throttle. Or you could learn by driving Southern Pacific's engine number 8799. With you at the throttle and an instructor watching, you start out and go 100 miles or so. Even if you made every mistake possible, there's no danger to you, the instructor, or anyone else because engine 8799 doesn't travel 100 miles or even one foot. In fact, it isn't a train at all, but a giant model train, a simulator that works exactly like a real one to train engineers. Look out the front window. You see a widescreen color motion picture taken along the actual tracks. Look out the side window. You see the roadbed flashing by. Like a real train, the cab itself rocks and sways activated by special hydraulic machinery. All the controls and instruments work the way they would if they were in a real locomotive. When you push the throttle, a computer is programmed to reproduce the look, sound, and feel of an engine pulling 100 freight cars. The instructor can also program emergencies. This student has just lost air pressure, so he can't apply the brakes. The engine simulator built by McDonnell Douglas is less expensive than the real thing and speeds up the training of engineers. Even if you don't become a railroad engineer, it's likely that at some time in your life you'll learn to do a complicated job by practicing in a realistic computerized training simulator like engine number 8799.